I'm with you. Um, I know that I'll be donating uh, some of my time this summer to help Planned Parenthood New Hampshire Action Fund, and hopefully all of you will as well. Uh, make sure you don't leave this room today until you find someone with a clipboard and sign up and commit to do something in this election. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about my story. Uh, my name is Crystal Parody, and I'm so excited to be here with Hannah and all of you guys as we raise our voices today in defense of women's rights and access to reproductive health care. When I was an uninsured young woman who couldn't afford health care on my own, I turned to Planned Parenthood. Because of the professional and compassionate care I received there, I was able not only to get educated, as Hannah said is so important, I was able to get birth control and well woman exams at no cost. <laughs> if not for the support in a really critical time in my early life, I have no idea how my life might be different today. Unfortunately for many Seacoast New Hampshire women, Due to insufficient state funding for health services here in New Hampshire, the Planned Parenthood location in the hometown of Portsmouth, where I'm from, is no longer there. More recently, the New Hampshire Executive Council's defunding of Planned Parenthood just this summer is threatening to access care at Planned Parenthood locations across the state, some that already have limited hours of operation. This puts access to safe and affordable health care at greater risk primarily for low-income New Hampshire women and men. And let's not forget, come November, that Chris Sununu, who was the... <laughs> Don't just boo, vote. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he cast a deciding vote in that defunding decision, and now he wants to be New Hampshire's governor. We can't let that happen. Uh, we know that access to sexual and reproductive health care will continue to come under attack. Every Republican presidential candidate running in this election opposes safe legal abortion and has promised to defund Planned Parenthood and remove birth control coverage from insurance. The people affected by this type of assault on women's health care are you and me and millions of other women and men and young people and families across the country. We need a champion to make sure that our reproductive freedoms and access to basic health care are not in jeopardy. That champion is Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're all excited. I am so excited and very honored to introduce the two greatest champions I know for women's rights and access to reproductive health care, Cecile Richards and Hillary Clinton. Are you guys ready to meet our champions? <laughs> you guys are amazing. Uh, Cecile Richards has spent a lifetime helping to build movements of justice for people from all walks of life. She represented us all when she testified before Congress, making sure that... <laughs> she made sure that women's voices were heard by bringing Planned Parenthood patients into the room at the hearing. Cecile has worked to make sure that women's preventive care and reproductive health services are covered under the Affordable Care Act. She helped organize a nationwide campaign to preserve access to Planned Parenthood, and she's helping affiliates in all 50 states, including right here in New Hampshire, to fight back against legislative attacks on reproductive health care. Please join me in welcoming Cecile Richards. I want to thank Crystal from right here in New Hampshire, who is also a patient and a volunteer both for Planned Parenthood and my campaign. And I appreciate both. 